Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat new tool from classtools.net. It's called the Image Hotspot Generator, and it's a nice alternative to commercial products like ThingLink. So let's take a look here at the Image Annotator. You'll find it at classtools.net slash hotspot slash index slash PHP. Let's go ahead and upload my image. Now I'm not signed in at all, and I'll show you what I can do with this. I'm gonna have my image here that depicts the counties in my home state of Maine. And we'll see over there, I can now click anywhere in the image to add a hotspot. So I'm gonna label the counties and put their county seats on here. So I have Oxford County, I'll put the county seat there. And we'll go in and write South Paris. And we'll say South Paris is the county seat. You'll find all county offices here. And I can put in my link. And done. Now I can do that again. I might go up here and put in another link. Put in Farmington, Maine. And I'll say that that's the county seat for Franklin County. And I might put in a link for more information about Franklin County. Or I can link to anything at all, or perhaps just leave a blank. Now, when I'm done with all of my labeling, and you can do this for any image you want, you'll see when you go to use it that the placeholder is an image with people in it, but you can do any diagram, any image you have, JPEG, PNG, or GIF image. And I'm ready to save this one. Now I'll save it, I can put in a password to use to go back and edit this later. You don't have to have a classtools.net account, you just need to create a password for your own map or your, your own image here. And you can always go back and use that password with that link for editing your image. So I've saved it. And now if I want to share it, I can embed it. I can get this little URL link, embed code. I can embed it into my blog post, my web page. Just shoot it out as a link to people. Or you can see there, you can also get our QR code for it and have students scan it. Then they have that interactive image. And so now anyone can go and just click on it and they'll be able to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and hit that embed button again. Let's get the link for our active image. And we'll see what this looks like right now to the viewer. We'll be able to go to that link and interact with the image itself by just simply clicking on it and getting a little bits of information. We'll see in this case I have an active link so it pops up with hey there's a link here to get more information again that's classtools.net the image hotspot generator great little tool for making interactive images as always for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com